This is Lawrence Porter for the World Socialist website. I'm here where, where teachers are demonstrating for the second day this week, calling a sick out against a threat by the state that they will cut off their pay for the rest of the summer. What is happening in Detroit is only an example of what's taking place throughout the country, and teachers are saying that what's at stake now is the right to education for working class youth. It's the writing is on the wall. They're trying to destroy the DPS. They want us to continue to work based on a hope and a promise that maybe they'll be able to pay the teachers their contractual amount. But they want us to keep going without a guarantee. And given their history with following through on things, it's frightening. It's scary. These are families that are marching today. They have kids. I have a, I have a, a four-year-old. I have a one-year-old. I have to pay diaper for, for diapers. I have to buy food for my kids. I have to pay the electrical bill. I have to pay rent for them. They need to stop making this uh, based on these political categories and come back to the essence of what the role of government should be. Do we want people educated in our country? Do we want just some of the people educated in our country? Does the government have a responsibility uh, for the well-being, for the welfare of the state to educate young people? Or should it just be left to those that have money? What happens in Detroit does not stay in Detroit. This is a national issue. And this is not an issue of union versus not union. This is an issue of what are we going to do with the education of our children and youth in America. And I'm upset about the media. Some people portraying what we're doing as if we're out here being selfish and egotistical. 